Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Oh, you remember this theme song? DuckTales was a late 80s Sunday morning Disney cartoon that you used to watch before Erie, Indiana, that you thought was okay, but never admitted it to your friends. I mean, come on. Admit it. Well, enough people thought it was okay that Capcom decided to release a game of it on the NES in 1989. You play as everyone's favourite Scottish stereotype, Scrooge McDuck, who isn't satisfied with the billions he's already got, so he sits in front of his PlayStation 3 here and decides to go on an elaborate treasure hunt to steal even more money. No kidnapped princesses or kidnapped nephews, nope, no one's even stolen his gold! He just goes on a world tour to steal cold hard cash from third world countries. I mean look at this Transylvanian level. Poor old Dracula lives in a rundown castle, and what little he has to repair his dilapidated residence, some jock duck smashes his way in, beats the crud out of his ghostly staff, and then nicks a lot! But not before murdering him. This guy's so evil that when his nephews Huey, Dewey and Louie help him across the level on a minecart, the sadistic duck lets them fall to their deaths. So killing hereditary peers to save giving them pocket money is another vice of his. The sick duck. And he's not satisfied with stealing all the money in the world either. Being the tight-fisted duck he really is, he even flies to the moon to steal even more money. Not even alien species are safe from his money-grabbing exploits. This was a game that's mainly about global genocide and pillaging, all wrapped around the lovable Disney mallard. DuckTales was a pretty good game, not just a simple cash-in. Capcom actually took time to make an extremely good platformer, and it's been voted by fans to be of a quality up there with the likes of the Super Mario series. It's a real shame that you don't get to see this sort of dedication in a lot of today's licenses. Though admittedly, there was a sequel, but it was a pile of sh This has been a Portland Interactive production for XLeague.tv.